In this video, we're going to continue to do the landscaping around the depot, the passenger station, and the pedestrian bridge on my Polar Express O-Gauge model railroad. And we're starting right now. Hi, I'm Owen. In these videos, I'm continuing to build, expand, and improve my Lionel Polar Express O-Gauge model railroad layout. This video is going to be all about landscaping and getting the area finished off around the depot, the passenger station, and the pedestrian bridge. Back in January, I sent seven 036 remote control switches to Lionel for warranty repairs at their request. Last weekend, four of them were returned, the right-hand remote control 036 switches. And I've started to put them back in place. I haven't been able to complete landscaping around my depot and alongside of the railroad and some other things because I didn't have these switches back. And I have to get the switches put back in place and get the railroad fastened down in order to be able to do the landscaping around it. It didn't make much sense to put the landscaping in place and then have to tear it out all over again when the switches were finally returned. I'm still waiting for the three left-hand switches. Hopefully they'll be arriving soon and I'll be able to complete the landscaping on another part of the railroad where they will be inserted. But for today, I've got the right-hand switches back and we're going to go ahead and do the landscaping around where those switches are placed and around the passenger station, the depot, the boarding platform, and the pedestrian bridge. That's going to be a long project. It's going to take quite some time to do it, but we'll get started right now. Three of the right-hand 036 remote control switches go on track two in this portion of the railroad, and one of them is on track one. The track one and track two switches connect those two tracks, those two loops, so that I can switch trains between them. The third one, which is this controller right here, gives the trains the ability to switch over and go on to the elevated track and take the grade up to that. The only problem with these remote controls is that the cords that connect them to the switches are much too short to be able to reach across the model train layout and, and get the controls where I have my control table. So I'm going to have to cut the cords and splice in wires to make them the required length. I've done that before with a couple of switches and it worked quite well. The cords that connect the remote controls to the switches have four wires inside them. So I'll have to splice each of those four wires and on, on two ends, the end next to the switch and the end that's next to the control unit which will be moved over to my control table. That's going to take a little bit of time but it's a necessary step in order to get this laid out properly. So we'll get busy on that and we'll also get busy on doing the landscaping. You can see here this landscaping is the XPS pink foam. That all needs to be painted and that's going to be uh, an early effort. The pedestrian bridge has the two lights on top. Those street lights need to be glued down. The bridge needs to be glued down on those two bridge piers and the stairs need to be put in place. That's a lot of work. It's going to take some time to get it done, but it'll be a lot of fun doing it as well. I've made some progress in the installation of the pedestrian bridge and the landscaping around the area.
The next step is going to be putting down plaster cloth around the depot. I've got the depot sitting up on blocks of XPS foam to give it elevation so that I can slide the plaster cloth underneath it. And if you look to the just past the bridge pier on the far end of the pier, you'll see I have a couple of blocks of XPS foam glued together and stacked up. That is going to be the landing for the stairway that goes up and down from the depot and the boarding platform to the pedestrian bridge. Those will be covered with plaster cloth as well. By raising the depot up like this on blocks of XPS foam, I'll be able to slide plaster cloth underneath the edges of it and that will cover the area that is outside of the footprint of the depot with plaster cloth and that will prepare it then to plaster uh, the area making it look like a winter scene. That little bit of gray plastic conduit right there in the center of the picture goes from the bridge pier over to a hole that goes down under the table. I've used an I-beam that I painted steel silver to bring the wiring, to hide the wiring coming down from the pedestrian bridge down to the surface level of the table and then ran it through that gray conduit that we looked at a few seconds ago and then down through a hole drilled under the table so that it can go underneath and be connected. I've connected it up and tested it and it works just great so I'm real pleased with that. Here again are the blocks that I've used to create the landing so that the stair coming down from the pedestrian bridge will come to that landing first and then go on down to the surface level. That All that area that's showing pink foam there is going to be covered first with plaster cloth and then with um, hydrocal plaster and in some cases smooth it in order to pede create pedestrian walkways. So that's coming up. I've next. installed a decoupling section of track in this place over here on track number two. Now what the reason for that is is that as I approach the grade and go up the grade through that switch I'm occasionally pulling trains that are too long to make the grade and by having a decoupling section right there I'm able to drop off cars and leave them behind and then take part of the train up the grade to the upper level track. So that decoupler is going to be positioned there and I'm going to extend the cord that controls it so that it's over right next to where I'm standing now at my control center. My immediate goal is to get the plaster cloth in place around the depot and if I can accomplish that I'm going to then take the rest of the day and do an operating session and run the trains. So let me get started on the difficult work part of it and then we'll have time for the fun part running the trains.
Well, that'll do it for today's video, folks. Please be sure to like the video, click the thumbs up down below to like it, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and share this video on social media or with anyone else you know that may be interested in modeling. As always, thanks for watching.